any Raila, Nikuru Seti, Nian expired. Raila is not expired. Raila is still strong. If Oburu, his brother, is this strong, then how about Raila, just a child who was born yesterday? So when you talk of contestations for the leadership of this country, others, people who are with us in leadership, particularly in our own coalition. You should not pressurize Raila to tell you that you are the one who is going to take over. No. Just talk to people. Come even here. If you force Raila to tell our people that they, will, they should uh, elect you or they should nominate you to be their presidential candidate, without talking to them, without convincing them, they will not vote for you. So just come out and compete. Let Raila also be in the ballot. Let us be democratic. Let us select one best leader who will give us the leadership of this country. Let us not talk about it too early. Let us, not give, let us give everybody a chance, including Raila. Manegi Manawacho. And, and, Yodalawa, Awacho Nunia no Siep Yogi. But here in Karachuanyo, we have been told that there is no ODM. We have been told we have been told that one of your sons, Omolo, is appointed. Uh, uh, you call him PS of security. I want to tell Omolo. Omolo, we are very happy that you are the PS of security. Please concentrate on your security jobs. Don't come with mess and beans to distribute here. Security is not good in our region. Just concentrate on your job. We are very happy that at least one of our sons is a PS there. We don't have problem with that. Even though Owalo is there, he's a minister. Let him concentrate on his job as a minister and let him deliver on the docket he has been given. Distributing maize and beans is not one of his dockets. That's not one of his responsibilities. So our people want service. And you are trying to sell Uda here. But that is just like selling Nguruwe in Saudi Arabia. It is poison us. We don't like it. We don't want it. And it will not happen. It's not helping you. You should build your, your, your careers. And uh, I want to tell Ruto, please, for a moment, Ruto, we know you so well. We have worked with you closely. Tell the country the truth. People are suffering. There is a lot of burden on the, on, on the people. You are imposing too many taxes. And we know it as a fact, Ruto, and you also know it. That you will never raise more revenue by raising tax levels. You need to reduce the tax levels, expand the tax base, and close all the loopholes of corruption. And you will get enough money to pay your debt. You go to Rumeru and you cheat people that you have been working very hard to pay your debts, now you have finished paying debts, that's why you have gone to Meru. But then which debts have you finished? You have not even paid the euro bond. You have not even started paying it. And you are saying that all those ones in, were incurred by Uhuru. But you are earning money as the deputy president of Kenya up to the last minute. Why did you not resign? Why do you call it former regime? And you are part of it. So we want the truth to be told. Don't lie to Kenyans. Just tell Kenyans where the money is going. <laughs> Kenyans are paying taxes. Where is the money going? Manoke and Egi Manayala watch. I don't want to. I don't want to joke away now. Abru Yabu woke up Rogo Siasa and Amor. But one, I want to finish by bringing to you the greetings of my brother Raila Molo. Raila, oh, Rani Munda Kel, Mosma Kende, Nijoka Wino, Kenomona Nisu, 
ni nitie wuoth moro mowuok modhi e kiny to wuodhno idware gik mang'eny midwa ni mondo otim koro chune ni nyaka odong' Nairobi mondo ikre ni wuoth ma kiny odhi e Jerman kiny emomiyo ok obiro to kata kamano en kodu to an ko ora unge ni kom ma kogingo dinga maka jaramogi mane osiepa wino nyadundo an matinde kora bete gi siana na ariyo omiyo ko ora to romo oromo kuso koromo oromo kuso karomo ero kama no urai ero kama no uri yoka wino ero kama no seneta a angene san saraj meo e umonda dia de araka kora luongo ngama raka ka luongo ni en minority leader ni ketch manuta mistake a kela lunga lunga ni majority leader ketch that's what you e ni majority leader bono pia wanda e Aya. Aya. Mokuongo akelo kuyo na makende. Ne familia Marja Duong George. En kuyo makende mo kuo mabinafsi. To kupende kuo mjo dala wa Masiaya. Jadi moka kuyo mo Masiaya county. Toke ndo bende enkuyo mwa kwa mwabunge te. Mwabunge te. Magazi mio. Toko dumagu ODM bende. Nikesh kakungeo. Ni wawadi ki George Martin. Miluongo ni Joshua. He has been the executive director. Has been the, the finance director of our party. ODM for a long, long, long time. A very dependable officer, a fine gentleman. Koro mane kuyo makelo. To kapo kadimbele, okeli na kuyo kabende mwa kwa mbunge masuba north. Meshimiwa mbili odhiambu. Ukao. To wani ki kuyo bende mwa kwa mjako marpati. Meshimiwa John Mbadi. Mamu mbunge ma suba south. To I, Joshua Bosha Konyisa, Governor no Uwe Okode, Governor Mahoma Bey, Ungeyo, Nyawangaya. Obende Okelo Kuyo Mamare, Jadimoka Okuyo Mar Governor. Aya. Kapu Wakadimbe Lekendo, Adwa Recognize Nuwa Nkot Vijende Ka. Vijende Mayando Keturuto Tesre Ndara. Hega Mokam. Milongo no movement for the defense of democracy. Gin kind MDD. Motel ni kod maka jos fafwaya. Tokod Fidel Castro. I've got very little to say. Let me say this. That indeed we condole with you. The family of George. And indeed the greater Aveno family. For this unfortunate loss. For this untimely demise of your brother and son. As we do so, I am very encouraged that the people of this family and the people of Karachuanyo in general have committed to remain steadfast. To remain steadfast in the ODM party. This gentleman was a member of ODM. George was a member of ODM just like his brothers and sisters and children. So as we send him off today, it is befitting that we also talk about our party and our movement. We are honored to, to have in our presence none other than the Secretary General of the party. He'll be coming forward to speak to you. Gimanyaka watch. Enejo karachuonyo wanwa yekodu.